and welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm Liz and I'm a mindset coach. How are you doing today? I uh, offer one-on-one -on -one group corporate and online coaching, and I've just launched, just about launched a new online course. It's five months long with at least 12 weeks of weekly courses recorded by me and live group calls once a month. If you're interested, email me and I'll get you the, de get you the details. Okay, today I have an exercise I call the elimination list that I have my clients do. It works like this. You begin to take note. It's kind of like some people journal their diet for a week or how they spend their time. This is how the things you think about that are negative. So everything that happens, everything that you don't like in your life, you begin to write down. This is how it works. You write down everything that bothers you. He said, she said, what they did, what you did, the money, the relationship, your behavior, including your stuff too, by the way, not what they did what you did, your results, your career, your fitness, your health, the betrayal, the loss, all of it. I remember uh, I was in a coaching class. I've, I'm now in my fourth coaching people class because I want to be really good. In one of my classes, they had us make a pie chart of our health, our fitness, our sleep, our relationships, our career, money, finances, whatever. And we would look at, look at the pie, the different pie slices and decide which were most lacking. And so I was like, oh, look at that one. That one's really lagging. Like I haven't slept since I joined the army. <laughs> so stuff like that. So you write it down and you begin to work on it. Remember, you've done shit too. It's not just everybody else. And also you want to take note of things that are especially negative, something you think all the time, right? All things you think are negative about yourself and others. So some of these will be events that happen. Some will be thoughts. Write it down, whether it's men mental to mental, mental, physical, or spiritual, right? So for example, you might be thinking, I'll never be in a relationship that's worth worthwhile. All men, women suck, right? A lot of us have thought that all the good ones are taken or if all people are players, whatever, or something like I'll never have money. I'll never be healthy. They'll never love me. It could be, like I said, anything physical, mental, or spiritual. You want to take special note of repeating thoughts. These you definitely want to turn around. So I would do this elimination list for a week or something like that. I've never done it for that long. I kind of onto myself, so I know what my list is. So once you have your list, here's what you do. For items on the list that are appropriate, I want you to cross out the list. I mean, I mean, I want you to cross out each item. Let's say she'll never love me. You know, all men are players, whatever you want to say. I want you to cross it out. You know, sit in a meditative state with a a beer, <laughs> um, something to meditate with, mala beads, whatever you got, a glass of wine, whatever gets you comfy. You're going to cross out that one statement one at a time. And on another sheet of paper, you're going to write out another statement for yourself, right? Not everything on the list will work this way. You'll, you get to decide. Uh, but anyway, about that statement, you can go neutral about it. If being way too positive feels too much like imposter syndrome. Here's an example. My life just sucks. Everything turns out badly in my life. If you want to, you can write out something neutral, such as my life is getting better and better and more fun every day. That's kind of neutral, right? You're not, you're not asking for the stars. You're just getting a little bit better every day. That feels more real to some people who are maybe especially in a negative place. Emile Coué, this French fellow, I think he was in the 1800s, 1700s, 18, I think. He was one of the great fathers of affirmations. He says this famous one, every day in every way, I'm getting better and better, healthier and healthier and wealthier and wealthier. Or you could go full in like I do and say stuff like, isn't it great that wonderful things are always happening in my life? How is it that I always have the best day ever? I'm happy, healthy, and wealthy. I do what I love and I love what I do. I live in flow in a continual state of ecstasy and bliss. I'm the luckiest person. Reality is rigged in my favor. Everything always works out for me. Everything always happens for me. I'm financially free. Stuff like that. That's way positive. I love it. And by the way, it's not fake. You're training your subconscious and you're crafting your future. Like I said, some things that you have written on the list may not be suitable to do those cross statements. And what you do once you've made those statements for seven days or so, every time you have that negative thought, you say, no, I don't accept that, or cancel, cancel, or cancel, clear, delete. You say, no, that's not me. Scratch that. 
and you say the more positive statement, I'm happy, healthy, and wealthy, or every day life's getting in better and better and more and more fun. As for the rest of the list, when you're done doing those statements for the statements you feel are appropriate, you can burn it. You can burn the whole list. Here's how you can do it. Here's a couple ways. Do it any way you like, knowing that all that shiz is done. You can blow those negative statements, say four or five at a time, into a twig or stick like I demonstrated in my fire ceremony. I'll try to link it below. You can do this inside or outside, blowing a few thoughts into each stick. If you'd like to work with me, I have two years ago now, I created a unique and powerful energy healing modality that combines like Reiki and the body code and the motion code and lots of other healing modalities that removes, powerfully removes the pain and trauma from events memories, actions, and behaviors. You get to keep the wisdom from these, but we remove the emotional trigger so you can move forward more integrated. The healing itself is gentle, but it is powerful work. Or heck, go to any healer or therapist you like. So make that list, rewrite the ones that feel right, and burn the whole list. And see a healer if that resonates. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.